Okay, we'll try again. Take two. Good morning. Welcome to our Thursday morning business chat. We get together every Thursday morning to talk business and give you some support for whatever is going on in the Lifeway world and in, in the bigger world. And today we're going to really talk about, um, you know, this time of year, because, you know, there are cycles and in each cycle, there's different focuses. And this is a really special cycle because more people are out and about doing things, more interaction, different and similar than the holidays, but the opportunity is vast in both directions for people to take advantage of you know, meeting people you don't know, uh, reconnecting with people you do know. It's we're heading into summertime in North America. And those of you that are outside, I'm not sure what season you're in, but if you're down under, it's a whole different season. So you get to talk about holiday season, I guess. So this morning, what we're going to talk about is, you know, how to really strategize for this particular time of year. And we have a few special guests uh, and our directors. And I do want to also say in our director's call yesterday, is the, the, the leaders, and we have directors and above that get together every third Wednesday morning, and we strategize on, you know, what we want to do even better. So we're going to shake things up a little bit and uh, make some shifts on our uh, Monday and Tuesday calls, Monday morning and Tuesday night, and we're going to be doing a lot more testimonials, and we're going to have a lot more hosts on Monday morning, and you're in for a real treat. So let me get started by turning things over to uh, Presidential Director Janet Kiefer. I get to unmute myself. Hello, everybody on the call. Hello, ever, hello to everybody on Facebook. Hello to everybody who listens to the recordings. It's uh, middle of June, right? June 15th here today. So why did we want to do this call? Because we found often... July through December is a different animal than January to June. So get out your paper. We want to brainstorm a little. But first, I want to ask, why do you want to perhaps bring through some of the strategies we're going to tell you? Well, <clears throat> if you want to rank up, that would be one of the reasons. Um, if you want to go on the 2024 travel incentive trip, which you should, as those of us who've been on it will agree, you're going to have a busy fall. We've got the convention. There may be new announcement, new products. It, there's a lot that happens now. So we wanted to just stop and have you guys brainstorm, think through how to be successful on this different other side of the year. Barbara Larrabee is going to help because Barbara and I learned a lot last year about it. And those of you in Canada, you've got a whole different animal to jump on board is if you have to wait another month or two before your products come in. So think about July through, let's call it September 1. People are on vacation, people at weddings, people are going, you know, graduations perhaps are almost done. But I always found the second half of August, if people hadn't already gone on vacation in the Northern states, they're, they're out, they're gone, right? So there's a strategy to work with that. Then people are coming back, oh, kids are getting in school or I'm taking the grandkids or whatever. So September to the convention in October is a really prime time where we have to be on it, right? Convention happens, new announcements. And then you have in November, Thanksgiving in the US and Black Friday. And Black Friday, tell me if I'm right here, Robin, that is like the last hurrah, but it's big. That's when I ranked up to presidential with Robin and Gregory's help in the whole team, all right? You don't want to miss Black Friday. You want to be planning. Then we have December, which is real iffy. Are people still in or are they gone for the holidays? And if they put the travel incentive deadline on December 31st, like they did last year, that was tough. <laughs> and that, that contest changed a few times. So whenever we get the announcement about when the content, when it is in the criteria, I really recommend you look at it and you start working with your upline and you start strategizing. So the convention's late. We had it last year in August, so we had time. We were moving through September and October. This time you're going to come out and half of October's gone, right? Probably by December 15th, you got a two-month two window to do things on there. 
So first of all, um, I'm going to have, before we go to events, Barbara, what would you like to add there? And this is Barbara Larry, Larrabee, director here with me in Texas. Hi, everyone. Um, well, first of all, I just want to a second everything that Janet said. She laid out a very clear picture of what our, our last six months was last year. And it flies by. It flies by so fast. You just can't even believe it. So, and this is a message to myself. Don't put off today what you think you're going to do tomorrow. You, bet, you darn well better get it done today because the time is really flying. And I will add that I used to own a, um, years gone by, I owned a retail business for 16 years. And my worst month, and I don't want to put this out as energy, but just the reality of what's going on, my worst month was always August. You would think it would be January when the Christmas bills came in, but that wasn't it. It was great. January is great. But August, like Janet said, people are finishing up their vacations. There's weddings. There's kids. Uh, they're getting kids back in school. Almost every school starts in August. People are putting their time and attention and money into school clothes and getting their kids ready. And so August, you just really have to be prepared, just like December, to really ramp up through that. Get your ducks in a row, keep working, uh, you know, reach out to twice as many people. Just kind of be realistic about all the distractions that people have in their world. Very, very true. So here's where we'd like you to start. Next Saturday on the 24th is the Houston big event. Gregory's going to be there. Top leaders are going to be there and they're streaming it. Martin's going with to help stream. You want to be inviting right now to get your people on that streaming. It's an event. You want to leverage events. You hear that panel of SPDs in, in March, Barbara and I were at the Scottsdale event and that panel just took our head off and we changed a lot of things. So right away, if you can't be in Houston, get your people on it, right? In August 19th, there's another meeting like that. It's going to be in Costa Mesa, California. Again, Barbara's saying, you know, kind of the dog days of August. Get people on it, right? After they're on it, you're going to have a meeting. What's your game plan? If, if the travel incentive trip has similar qualifications, you've got to have preferred customers. You're having points for auto ship points for bringing in, points for ranking up. So who wants to rank up? And I think Connie just entered, in which case, Robin, I'd love her to join us. All right, so you've got two events coming up in one this next week, one in August. There's also, I think, Gregory's in Branson before he comes to Houston. So you're leveraging that. Um, you want to find out who, who wants to rank up between now and a week from Sunday. Don't let that go, you know, get them, get more home parties going. Think of the follow-up you need to do. Robin and Gregory brought through the 333 program. Go back and visit it. Look at those videos, get your team on it. I want to recommend a video for you. Go on YouTube. You can just write this down right now. Eric Warre, his name is W-O-R-R-E is a master networker worldwide. He has probably six videos on inviting. And I would say watch all six and find your favorite because most of the new reps, most people who haven't been in network marketing, they don't know how to invite. They don't, oh, well, I sent out 30 emails to that meeting and no one showed up, right? That's not how it works. So I want you to go on and watch Eric Warre on there. Um, Robin, or, um, Robin, do you have Connie? Is she in there? She can unmute. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, are you available to unmute? Oh, kind of, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Connie, you don't have to be on camera. We're talking about pretty much July through December and the shifts you need to make. Could you mm -hmm. kind of supply your wisdom, what you found through the last few years and how to prepare for this time? Well, it, we were, my husband and I were talking about it the other day, even when I said after the Houston event, and I said, you know, Janet's having something for her local people the next day. And he's like, why would you have a meeting the day after a meeting? And I'm like, because it's event to event. 
people are excited. They're ready to go. Just like when you go to convention, you know, you may be getting all your team to convention, but what do you have planned for right after convention when they're super excited and they want to go talk to everybody, right? So every single piece is what's the next event? What am I inviting to? What's the one after that? keeping those in line and then lining your team up for the support after the event, like you are doing in Houston to be excited. I'm not flying out until later on Sunday because my team that's driving in for Houston, I want to give them my time the next day. That's when they're ready to train. That's when they're open. That's when they're excited. That's when they're going to have questions. So I think the way you're doing it and your follow-up with having a home meeting, literally the day after the big meeting, that's for those people who didn't get to the big meeting, but maybe they'll drop by your house. Yeah. Right. And so, you know, following up that way and putting that in place, that's, that's kind of what I would say. And Connie, you bring up a good point. You're teaching your team below you how to book an event from an event so you keep the momentum going. They're watching what we're doing, folks. And if you're not doing, they're not doing. That's it. And you said the key word, Janet, which is momentum. And this business is built on momentum. And so people get excited. They start moving. It's why you see people who get out of the gate fast and really start talking to people and have a big list and they're willing to share. You see them getting into and creating momentum Whereas if you have somebody that kind of ones and twosies it every few months, they just never get off the ground. So momentum has a lot to do with it. So let me share um, momentum, the topic of momentum. And if you can be in a company that's in momentum, it's extraordinary. Your whole life can change. It's also chaotic. (laughs) So be ready. But something I mentioned on the director call yesterday, and it ties to you, Connie, um, I'm kind of used to floating around. No one's heard of world of life wave. They're like, Oh no, I don't know. Life. And we still have plenty of those people, but words getting out because someone who joined Connie's team called me who I haven't talked to in 17 years. Like I kind of almost didn't remember that we worked together was like, Oh, I'm joining life wave, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, someone from 17 years ago. So you really need to look from July through December where can you dig deeper? How can you tap root into your team? Robin and Gravery talk about it all the time to get down to those new members. Um, Barbara, Connie, what would you like to add? Um, I can add in. So Janet texted me and told me that Walt, who's brand new under Valerie and Paul Mitchell, and when she texted and Walt had reached out, I go, I text me, go you're breaking he, Walt went oh sorry Walt went right to the top of his list obviously if he's prospecting somebody like Janet good out of him <laughs> he created a good list so I was like yay Walt for reaching out back that far and to reaching out to somebody that has a very high skill set not just kind of playing around with people who maybe will always say yes so that was impressive to me Yeah. Also, someone said on our team meeting last night that she's shifted between now working the 333. She said, I used to think, who do I know? Now she goes, I think of who don't I know? I'm talking to everybody. And that's a very big shift because you go, I don't know anybody, right? Well, there's people, you know, how many people, I came out of an elevator yesterday. One of my neighbors had this massive black bruise, a wrapped up arm, wrapped up bruises I was like oh I mean my first thought was if only we would had her on the patches right so there's people everywhere to do that Barbara do you want to add anything and let's open it for questions well I just wanted to add about taprooting because I've I've seen some really really dynamic people come onto my team and they're one level down two uh, two levels three levels down and then the person in between who theoretically is their trainer and their leader, et cetera, has distractions in their life, whatever it is. And so it's real, and Robin is just a master at this and you are, I know Janet and Connie, you both are too, but it's really what I'm having to learn is to make time to um, 
go to those people so they are not orphans two or three levels down and bring them into the loop and show them, you know, have those extra phone calls, make sure they're getting to the trainings, um, help them create their potential. If the person in between is kind of distracted and not doing what they could be doing. So the, the tap rooting thing and being really inclusive further down your team is really, really important. So if I can tie what Barbara's saying together with Eric Worre's inviting video, which please go watch it, get your team to watch it, watch it multiple times. But his whole point is you have to bring things alive. So if Barbara's going down and tap rooting to that person, she's got to talk about the opportunity and why we believe in this product. And oh my gosh, the team's amazing. And we have this event coming up. Could, could you be there on Saturday? Oh, I'm not near Houston. Well, could you be online and watch it? Well, okay, this is what it looks like. You're going to tap into the Facebook, uh, use, um, Live Younger Facebook page. You're going to click on it. Let's say it's 10 in the morning central when they start. Okay, paint a picture. This is what you're going to do. Do you think you could do that? Oh, yeah, I think I could. Okay, do you think you could kind of get some distractions away? Because there is this presidential, um, senior presidential panel that you're not even going to believe. You guys <laughs> have to build it. You have, you know, a little text like, oh, wait, there's a meeting. You know, you and I blow them off all the time. <laughs> I do. So you want to see Connie. She's going to be fantastic on stage. Gregory's going to be on stage. We have all these team leaders. And it's your chance to build the belief for everybody. So, Robin, you want to say anything? Well, I love, I, I, I'm sitting back here so proud and honored to be sitting back here. What you said, you know, inviting is one of the master skills. Mm -hmm. and, and this is an invitation business. So I love that you focused on that. And, you know, Eric Worre is, you know, he's, he's masterful. And a lot of people don't know he was in Gregory's downline in the past. <laughs> so were a lot of other really famous people uh, that have done well. But um, that is number one that that you said. And, you know, something that I think we should be talking more about is the and you you definitely touched on it, the momentum, the fact that the company has grown 15 fold in the last four years. I like to say this is a networker's dream to be yeah. with an established company that is on a very steep trajectory of growth. And we have barely begun. You know, this is the early stages. Plus, you know, the stem cell revolution, the future of medicine is stem cells. And what we have is exclusive and proprietary and more importantly, it, it like changes people's lives dramatically. So there's so many things. And, and really, one of the things that I learned a while ago that many of you have heard me share is we want to model the lifestyle that we want to duplicate. This is a lifestyle business. So in the summertime, when you're out having a great time, you know, for us, it's floating on the river, it's hiking in the woods, it's, you know, swimming in the lakes, it's paddleboarding, you know, whatever it is you like to do in the summer, get that out on social media, show people that you are living the life because we have that opportunity and that's what people want more of. Um, and Barbara, you talked about, you know, tap rooting and where's the juice. That's what I like to, you know, look in your organization and find out who is most excited. It doesn't matter what kit they came in with. It's like, who is most excited? Who's going for the rank, you know, advancement? That's where you want to put your energy. And Gregory has been a great mentor to me in helping me understand that sometimes I used to take way too long on phone calls and it wasn't a really productive use of my time. So being very strategic about who we spend our time with and how much and when. And I think uh, the last thing was the event to event. Um, yes, there are constant events going on, whether it be Power of the Patch or Houston or the International Convention, because mm -hmm. everyone, leaders are born at events. And you will see it every time. And and finally, that SPD panel, the, the wisdom that came from there was extraordinary. And it's definitely uh, an important thing to witness and learn from. So I guess it's time. Do you want to open up for questions? Yes. And I would say, don't go to sleep over the summer. The fall, you have to be you know armed and ready because it's a, a short fall. 
with all the holidays. Okay, and who wants to? And I went. <clears throat> I went ahead and shared the flyer for Houston, so everyone should know this is in the newsletter. It's in the Facebook group. It starts at 10 a.m. Central Time, so adjust your clocks. So that would be at 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, excuse me, Eastern. That'll be 8 a.m. Pacific. So a little early for some of our Pacific Coast folks, <clears throat> but that's when. Connie's going to be there doing the presentation, uh, the Power of the Patch presentation. And then it's going to be followed by a doctor's panel. And this is something, if you just attended two things, it'd be that first and second hour. That's going to be product focus. And then from there, we're going to go into some business training. So I just wanted to, and we will get the, the agenda published. We're going to finalize it tomorrow. And we'll get it published uh, over the weekend and then in the Monday newsletter. So I want everybody to know that. And uh, someone asked in the chat about Costa Mesa, the flyer will be done soon, just finished up with the contract. So- Well, actually be... I'm signing the contract today. Okay, <laughs> so you'll you'll see that really soon. So to be promoting for that event, we, we've we been promoting for all of them for quite a while. So let's see uh, if there's anything else. Okay, I'll turn it back to you, Janet, if anyone's got their hands up. Well, they're asking if it'll be broadcast, Houston, on Facebook. Yes, on the Live Younger. Gregory, do you want to address that at all? Yes, it will be broadcast on Zoom and uh, God willing, also on the Facebook group, but it'll be on liveyoungerzoom.com, the whole yeah. event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very true. Yeah. Um, start being creative about how you're keeping people engaged all summer. You're the leader right? How can you set up more home parties? Robin's saying, hey, you're on vacation. Well, you've seen somebody who's putting little bling things on their patches. Put that patch on your arm. You know, X39 will work anywhere. Have that, you know, you're sitting at the at the resort and you're having a drink at the bar and people are like, well, what's that? Oh, I have a stem cell activation business. Really? Or I was at... <laughs> I just enrolled a great guy. We're we're down at what we call the office here. My friend and I go to this great Mexican restaurant. And the guy next to us was had played soccer and his knee was hurting. So carry your patches. I, of course, patched him with Ice Wave. And he's now on my team. And he wants me to go to all his soccer games and share it with his soccer team. Well, what a great idea. <laughs> so. Okay. Let's see. If you have something you want to share or a question for this illustrious panel, please raise your hand, a comment of maybe some things you're gonna be doing. And the thing about home meetings or any kind of meetings, it's called leverage. And if you're in front of a group, you're leveraging your time. And this is a business opportunity about leverage. And so if you can have groups, and I know Arlene, uh, Darlene did one yesterday for one of her people and it was in their house. And she was so excited. She got a new brand partner and several new customers. I mean, the enrollment statistics are, you know, 85 to 100% <laughs> if you're doing events like that. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Comments, questions, insights, thank yous. <laughs> what are you going to do I'll, different? I'll yeah. say something while we're waiting. Uh, when you were talking about inviting, I remember what Harris. Harris, my sponsor, is a master at taprooting, and he's a master at inviting. And when we had a Sarasota event in his backyard, when he was inviting, he never once told people, here's what you're going to see. He talked only about the benefit to them. These were a lot of his friends that played pickleball. What we, Oh, my gosh, the benefit to you in the fact that you're going to be able to be quicker, faster, injury-free. You've got to learn about this technology. Stop with the telling them and start with, at, with the suggesting of benefits. This is the benefit to you in coming. So just think and write down benefits to the person you're talking to before you call them, and you may come from a different place. And Connie hits it right on target. He told them why. It was focused on them. People buy when they know why we're doing it, why they should come, why they should be listened to us. Don't start with product. Start with the why. We got a bunch of people with their hands up. 
So, and let's keep it really, really brief. Let, why don't we why don't we pick a few people that we don't normally hear from? Okay, let's go. Start Kathleen, from... then Darlene, then Sunshower, then Heidi. So, what Kath... about Casey? I don't see oh, she's, Casey. Oh, she doesn't have her hand up. Hi, Casey. Okay. There. So, Kathleen, why don't you go? Good morning. Um, yesterday, I saw my eye doctor. I'm having challenges with my eyes, and. Um, Right now, I have glutathione above my left eye and Eon on my left temple. Um, the Eon takes the pain away quite well on the eyes. Um, I had an appointment with my eye doctor, and she was already running an hour late. So she, I had Eon on my temple, but I did not have the glutathione above my eye at that time. She said, so what's the patch on your temple all about? <laughs> and um, I said, well, it's, you know, and I explained a little bit about stem cell patches. And I didn't go into what this one was for specifically or anything. I kept it real short, knowing she's an already an hour late, just seeing me. So she, um, I said, you can um, find out more. When I got done talking, which was very short, I said, you can find out more on YouTube under David Schmidt. He's the inventor. And um, I can also give you more information. But I knew she wanted to move on. She's typing in her phone while I'm talking. <laughs> okay. So she knew I was respecting her time and I was intentional about that. And she said something like, we've got to get back to this. And then she went in and did her, re, you know, her exam of me and talked about my challenges. Well, she and I both forgot when I left, how do you want me to get you more information? <laughs> how would you like to research this or what? What's my next step? <laughs> you want to go for that, Janet? Um, can I can I be respectful and say it's a little off target to what we're talking no, about sorry. here? Can yes. we get back with you and help you? Thank yeah, you. Let's stay on target. Let's stay on target. Okay. Let's keep it really brief. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm next. Yes. So doing this party yesterday for one of my brand, um, not brand partners, um, she's preferred customers. It made me think, think back and talk to your most excited uh, preferred customers, the ones that are calling you and raving. I found, I, I found something new this did for me and say, I would love to have a party for you with your friends and then they will be under you and you could be getting your product for free. Um, this lady decided to sign up as a brand partner. Every guest she had at the party signed up under her and she put her husband in as a preferred customer and the three guests that were there are now under him. So next month, his product is free. Good job. So just think about those people and keep in touch with them because they are going to help you grow your business. Beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think we have Sun Shower, then Kent, then Heidi. That was great, Darlene. I really love what you just said. And, you know, it made me remember, you know, I, I was part of a large event uh, where I was one of the only vendor for LifeWave on May 27th. And I'm still doing follow up. I have so many leads from that. So just just an, an idea. If you have a, a trade show or something that you can be part of, do it. Nothing's there like LifeWave. That's for sure. And uh, patching people, you know, having a lot of patches ready to go. And just secondly, I love the bling thing. I am even, you know, I have a couple on today. I actually have five different patches on me today. I'm using them all. Sometimes they're decoys because, you know, <laughs> why in the world would you have a patch here necessarily? But it actually, it works. There is a point there that's, that's important to us. 
um, but the bling thing. So instead of a patch that's hidden or even a patch that's now visible, if it doesn't have something to draw attention to it that's pretty, people are like, oh, I better not talk to her about that. I better not ask. She's probably really sick. <laughs> when in fact, this is we're trying to draw attention to our wonderful patches. So just some seeds for thought. Mm, thank you. Okay, hey, Kent, you wanna unmute your line, Kent? John, thank you, what a great group this is. Uh, I, I asked a specific question of Janet. I love the fact that she has a Mexican restaurant. She calls her office. Uh, my office is the gym. And uh, I, I always tell people, they see this thing on my back, I'm actually a cyborg and that's where they plug me in, uh, which gets a chuckle and, and opens the conversation, of course. But uh, my specific question to Janet and really, uh, of course, all of these uh, powerful people on the team that person you saw, for example, on the elevator, uh, and obviously I'm anxious to uh, watch Eric Worry learn about invites, but uh, is there anything that you particularly like or that anybody has a tip on when you see somebody that's obviously had an injury? I'm always looking for people with a, you know, a brace on their leg or a limp or a you know, problem. I, I feel like an ambulance teacher. <laughs> Well, Kent, i um, glad you're here. I uh, also used to own a gym for about a dozen years. So you are in ground zero. You have athletes. You have people straining muscles. You have people who want faster recovery. You, you're you in your best prime location. So, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm 78 years old. Awesome. And, right. and that immediately gets their attention. I say, I say, well, how old are you? And they'll say, uh, one guy said, yes, just yesterday. Well, I'm really old. I'm 62. I said, oh, my God, when I was 62, 18 years ago. Uh, yeah. said, what? So, anyway. <laughs> so you've got a, you're in your wonderful playground, right? Your sandbox. So for you, I want to tie it back to thinking through this year. Um, of course, patching them. You can have flyers there. You can have, in, you know, information. You can talk about um, how to recover through the holidays when they're, or pardon me, through the summer when they're out in the hot summer sun. You, um, so many people over 50, most of us lose 3% muscle every year. So all those people in the gym are trying to keep their muscle. Well, the reality is their hormones are changing. They're losing it. So you can talk about, hey, over the next six months, how would you like to truly grow more muscle and bone? Next 39, 49 is your your baby. You know, I know you must do promotions for Christmas. I always did when I had my gym, when people buy, because January, everybody wants to get back in shape. So stay with these calls and there's, there's other ones we do and we and if you want, I'll give you my number, but um, I would just have ice wave all the time in the gym and just patch them with ice wave. Uh, as opposed to Aon? Them, yeah, I would do ice wave right okay. away because okay. you're probably going to get them out of pain quickly. That's how I got my soccer player the other day, you know, mm. sitting at the office, 10 minutes later, he goes, my leg doesn't hurt. What is this? So Hey, one one quick comment I'll tell for, just for the good of everybody. Uh, you've heard comments about X49 helping people lose weight. I've been on the patches for six months, amazing results. Three months ago, I started adding X49. And, and I was very happy with my weight size and everything else. I've lost 16 pounds in the last three months. And on a five foot 10 guy, that's a lot of, uh, lot of pounds. So, and, and I didn't do anything different. So... I can only attribute it, obviously, to X49. That's a little piece of information you might uh, like. Thank you. Yeah. OK. OK, it's Heidi's turn. I'm just going to repeat what I just put in the chat, because I wasn't sure if I'd have time to express that um, there's a great interview from um, Robin Blake Mascari. Robin, you interviewed Marcy Premble about a year ago in May. Um, doing invitations and she brought her whole team together and she would do weekly invites for major events and I got to meet Marcy at a major event twice once in Orlando and it's impactful to see someone do a training then do the training then go meet that person who's on stage rocking it out okay. thanks Heidi all right. Whoa. How do you want to close it up, Janet? <laughs> you did a fabulous job. Uh, I think well, you inspired a lot of people to uh, treat this time strategically. 
Yeah, you really need to get out a big calendar, you guys. This is where I'll leave you. Call to action. Get out your calendar. Where are you vacationing? What are you taking? Do you have what we call your um, first aid kit in your purse with, or your pocket or your man bag with your patches, right? Have them with you. Take them on vacation. What are you going to do um, for the events? How are you going to train your people through the through the whole calendar for the next thing coming? Because um, wouldn't you agree, Sun Shower, Aruba was pretty fabulous. <laughs> so we all want to get. So thank you all. We'll be talking about it more, I'm sure. And get everybody, invite everybody to Gregory and Connie next Saturday. Great. Houston's going to be fabulous. I'll be um, on the home front watching online, of course. And Heidi did suggest having a watch party. Leverage the time, everybody, and go out and have fun. Um, Robin's motto and our team motto, and we'll soon have the hat. The most fun wins because when you're having fun, you're magnetic. People are drawn to you. They want more of that. So go out and have fun and amazing things will unfold. And Janet, thank you so much for taking the lead on this. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Connie, and all of you for your contributions. A wonderful call this morning. Okay, everybody, thank rank you, everyone. up. You're amazing, Janet. I and say thank you. Thank you. Rank up, rank up, rank up. Thank you. Up. Thank you. Up. Have a great day. Rank up. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Great Thank you, meeting. Yeah. Incredible information. Awesome. Woohoo. Mm -hmm. Thank you.